Hello lovely people, welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. Vulnerability is my superpower. It can be yours too. Wanna know how? Keep watching. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel, share the video and like it. At first, let's look at what vulnerability is so that we have a fair understanding of what we are working with. So vulnerability is a feeling of being open to a potential harm. And the harm could be physical or emotional. And it's quite normal. I mean, it's in human nature to run for safety. When we get to know of a potential harm, we want to be safe. So we look for the safe heaven. And it is quite okay, because that's the natural instinct. And uh, while we follow the natural instinct, it is one of the most predominant factors that limits us from accepting our vulnerability. Mm -hmm. vulnerabilities and makes us not present ourselves as we are. We try to hide a lot of things and always try to present the best version of us. And at times we have to fake a lot of things. But if, if and only if you are able to accept your vulnerabilities, you will not have to hide that. Rather, you have to. You can use it to your benefit. And in today's world, I believe asking for help is looked down upon. I say this. I don't look at it that way. But I say this because I have met so many people who are always harping about that they are helping others always i helped this guy i helped that i did this blah blah and all but the moment you ask them did you ask for help from someone in recent past and they go blank that's something that i want to share with you and that's what i want to pitch this video is you asking for help is not bad. You asking for help is an opportunity for the person that you're asking that help from to come and give you something, offer you that support, offer you that help and build that relation with you and if this to and fro keeps happening where you are asking for help and you are giving help and that person is helping you and then that person is asking for help over a period of time what happens is you build a strong relationship a relationship of trust and that's a superpower in today's world. So <clears throat> I suggest everybody that while you are helping everyone in all possible ways, give people the opportunity to help you. Show that you are also vulnerable. You also don't know certain things. And hence, you are coming up and asking for that. Nobody is going to look down at you. Nobody will feel that, oh, this guy doesn't know this or this guy doesn't know that. Yes, at times, from a superior position, it becomes very difficult for people to ask for help. But I think people who do have really shown the path of successful leaders 
and how does being vulnerable gives you super strength or super power it gives you that opportunity to look within because if you are satisfied by hiding from your vulnerabilities you would never be able to overcome them so i would say that yeah of course you don't have to go out with a loud speaker and start talking about it but what i do most of the time is introspect i reflect on things i look at what i am capable of doing what i'm not capable of doing and when opportunities knock i try to take that extra step try to give myself that opportunity where i could kind of face my vulnerabilities and uh, work through with it what will happen if you start facing your vulnerabilities think for a minute because if you have the right mindset the growth mindset every time you face a vulnerability you'll have a learning a positive thing to happen that will help you grow so you learn from your vulnerabilities every time you face one of them you reflect upon yourself you learn you work out you make yourself strong and you move forward so it's all about the mindset so i would encourage you guys to start looking at your vulnerabilities and don't run for the shelter right rather try to face it seek learnings from it and make yourself powerful because the moment you overcome your vulnerabilities you become a super hero see you again next week bye bye